Minister Teresa hit on something that really set me up for what's about to go down. All right. She said, you have to have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And I heard something on a Netflix basketball show that says, a relationship without rules is rebellion. Mm -hmm. And what you got to understand is when you not being obedient, but you got you want to be obedient to God, but you're doing your own thing. You being rebellious. My God, hear yourself now. I know. We're being rebellious. Lord, help us, Jesus. And then, as I'm at home trying to think, my mind wrecking, like, what can I talk about? What do I need to talk about? Mm. I see all these things coming at me that I that, that I thought that I was okay with, but I wasn't. I wasn't. Mm. And Jesus. God Fair told Lord. me, just lay here, cut this on, and take a nap. And as I dreamed, I dreamed that there was a, I was in a trailer park. And my mother was coming off the porch, but I was in the truck and a big fight started. And the fight started way over there. And I was like, that's not my business. So I'm not even gonna get into it. And this man walked up to me with a knife in my window. And then the fight was around my truck. And there were bricks and People getting took out on stretchers, people throwing bricks and everything. But as I got ready to try to attack this man, mm -hmm. my mother screaming, no, no, no. I said, Mom, I'm okay. You stay up there. This is my fight. And as the man got ready, I thought he was going to attack me. He said, you safe now. And I rolled the window up and I drove away. Wow. And now it makes more sense because when I woke up, God put this on my heart. Everybody liked the first part of this scripture. Mm. When it says, where well, all things work together for the good of those who love God. Mm -hmm. But what we do is sometimes we ignore the most important part. And see, God is working in our lives for our good. Mm -hmm. But not so that we can live on the easy street. All right, right. Yeah. And see, I went through a rough street this weekend. And I didn't really understand why I had to go through this because I've been doing everything According to the book, I'm loving my neighbors, but when my neighbor lashes out to me, I feel anger that I didn't know that was Lord still in there. Mercy. And then I realized that it's going to work out for our good according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is God's purpose for our lives? This, the, the um, Pastor Tony Evans book tells us that God desires to conform us to an image of his son. That's right. So now I'm going to put away the book. And I'm going to tell you what God just showed me in the, in the midst of sitting over here. And she told me that you told some man that God is going to tell you something for where you are. So give me a little body. Wow. And I wrote it down. Some of you are at the brink of being free. Wow. Being unbound. Come on now. Wow. Come on now. Being set free in your mind. Mm -hmm. But why can't you really be free? All right, come on. Why couldn't I really just let go of what was said to me, but I just had I just had to I had to react. But then I realized why I reacted because I wasn't dead as I thought I was. Now you better come on and say that. I thought that I was we good until so reality really hit me in we this situation. Come, come on now. Come on. And then I then I felt all alone. Come on. And I felt like Maybe I am that. Mm. I feel like maybe I am a maybe I am a, a dis, maybe I do feel unworthy. Mm. Maybe I do feel like I'm a disgrace. My because God. the question was after a derogatory slur that was named at me, he asked me, Why what are you even doing here? My God. And see what you have to do is you have to protect and guard your mind. Mm -hmm. Because they say so so a man think of in his heart, so is he. That's right. If I had allowed them to get in my mind, and if I had to let it really get in my mind and filtrate my heart, I would have let those thoughts of evil. All right. I would have let those thoughts of wanna just be. Oh, I can't even really say what I want to do, but I just knew that I had felt I hadn't felt that way in a long time. All right. But I know that. For he himself is our peace. Yes, he is. And who made both groups into one and broke down the barrier for the divine wall. All right. 
So I need you to understand what a barrier is, because I know you see it, but it's it's one part of this that really just sticks out. It's a circumstance or an obstacle that keeps people and things apart or prevent communication or the progress. Come on. And you wonder why you can't move forward. Come and you on. wonder why you just get, keep getting hurt. Says, and son. you wonder why you just letting all these things keep hitting you in your face like my dream. These things were hidden, but they wasn't hitting me. Mm. Because I was protected. Mm. And what I had to realize was, I had to, I, if I hadn't had a change of mind before this happened, I would have been conformed. And I would have been just like my fellow brother. Oh my goodness. Changing the way that you think changes your perspective. Yes, it does. Changes how you act in the world. Paul's Paul's words aren't new. Changing your mind is the central theme of Jesus in his first sermon. Mm. And some of us don't even really want to read the Bible because we think it's a lie. We think it's a joke because some man wrote it and we weren't there. But you can believe. You better come on. You're saying something. You can believe something somebody tells you in a game. Mm. And a man wrote that. Mm-hmm. You can believe something in a, a organization and somebody made those rules. But you can't believe this book right here. Well, I'm going to tell you it's true. Yes. Because those thoughts I had, and when I say thoughts, I'm talking jail. All right. Prison. Blood. But what I had to remember was that like Mr. Truth said, I can't lean into my own understanding because right. if I thought and I leaned on what I was thinking, what I was thinking would have got me deeper in what I was already in. And because I didn't know that I was hurt still. Mm, Jesus. I came over here to my grandmother's house on Sunday and all of us was out here and I told them the story and they wanted to tell me how this it, this is this how it is for us and we got to be careful. And I was forced to really understand reality because it had never really hit my front door. Until I was 31 years old. And when I when I got back up to the person I was playing the sport and I hit the ball with so much anger. Mm. It felt it in my hands. My God. And see, you gotta realize that the devil. Well, you have to realize you have to be sober. Yep. You have to be vigilant. That's right. Because your adversary, the Come devil, on. is yep. a roaring lion. Walking about seeking whom he may devour. That's right. And see, he wanted me to That's be right. devoured in that moment right. because my character That's was so right. high the whole time That's I was there. Right. Because I was in a place where I shine in, or, or my light shine in darkness. And the devil saw that. All right. And he really wanted to take me out. Because it was going to be the 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 the, the ending. situation would have been detrimental That's if right. I had allowed the devil to really take control. And on. people were like, you better than me. Because I wouldn't, I couldn't put that's the thing between me and you. My perspective. The problem is, for those that's on that brink, if you wear glasses, you need to clean. Mm. If you don't wear glasses, you need to get you some eye drops. Because mm. your perspective is off. You're seeing things how you see them in the moment of your vulnerability and your feelings on your sleeve. Because I promise you, ain't nobody feelings ever got them to heaven. Mm. So but true. they got them to hell now because of their reaction That's to so what true. they felt when was you when what it. was felt was projected. I know a couple people now, but that's a whole other thing. But you have to guard your mind. You definitely because if you don't guard your mind. Your heart will be. Mm, I'm looking for infiltrated. Infiltrated. Yeah, infiltrated. Infiltrated, infiltrated mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. bitterness, right, right. Yeah. anger, right, right. and then when you let those two get in and they get to mix it up and they get to making their own little drink, you got murder. Come on. And you got suicide. Come on. And you ain't even want to open up to nobody something. because you feeling some type of way. And see, I didn't really want to open up and tell them outside that I was. I was really hurt. I was hurt. But I had to be my to and take it. Mm. But see, my perspective when I was able to really hear what I was supposed to hear, Come on. let me see that I can be okay. Mm-hmm. Even if you hurt me. That's right. I can be okay Come even on, if you backstab right. me. That's right. I can be okay even yeah. if the thing doesn't work out the way that I Come want on. it to work. You better say that. 
Because I gotta trust him. Come on. And see, I gotta have the relationship with his rules and not my own because then I still work at every bit. Because right. I could have had a relationship with God and had my own rules and just lashed out like I wanted to, but then it would have been my own thing that yeah. I would have been rebelled. Mm-hmm. And with me looking like I look and my frame looking, my silhouette look how it looked, I would have went to jail. All right. All and right. then I would have had a record on my, my character. God. Not only on paper, mm-hmm. but in the spirit. Oh, yeah. my God. And now I got to fight out of this because yeah. I didn't got in here too right deep now. because I'm hurt. Now. And some people out here that really gotta let some stuff go yeah, behind that do. barrier that you don't even really want to accept it. And mm-hmm. mo- I, I, it's a couple men on here right now that you think that you too much. Mm-hmm. Man, if you don't let them tears heal, you if you don't let them tears open up some stuff that you can push off it, 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 it here behind your real case, so it's really protected. Yeah. And so you don't let too many people get to it. And like TDJ said, oh, that's the spot. That's the stinky spot right there. Every time somebody started to talk about it, but it took my little, big, powerful, big playing cousins to send me a video to realize that it's okay to understand right or wrong in one situation and be and, and not be a bad person doing it at the same time. Because I thought that if I indulged in this or if I said the wrong thing that God would know I would be living a lie. Mm-hmm. But I can't live a lie if that's the truth that's been up for over 400 years. Mm-hmm. And once again, man made that. Mm-hmm. And we believe that. And like my grandmother and my mother always told us growing up, people can call you what they want to. Because right. they don't even know you. That's right. They might know of you, but the older I get and the deeper I get into this new level and this barrier that keeps coming down. It might not come down fast as you want it, but it's coming. Yeah. You have to know who you are. That's it. And the fact that you know who you are, and you Mm -hmm. know that you are in his will, under his protection, under his presence, that means that everything that comes out against you, everything that's playing with your mind, that's still trying to infiltrate your heart, Mm -hmm. you have to take control. Because if you don't, it will control you. You better say it. So right. as I get ready to leave from this moment, I just want you to know that it is the Lord who directs your life. For each step mm-hmm. that you take is ordained by God to bring you closer to your destiny. That's right. So much of your life then remains a mystery. And see, that's the part that we don't understand because we don't see it and we don't under, we don't really know what's going to happen, but you got to realize when you go to sleep, you don't know if you're going to wake up, but you trust to make up your mind for the next day. You got to do that for him. Yeah. And I didn't have anything to say. Yeah, right. But I knew I did because they just came, we just came in and it it felt good in here and the fact that I was tried. I should have knew the devil was going to come for me. Now. And I put out a video you know? telling you that if the plan changes, don't change, change the plan. Don't change, change the goal. No, don't. If, it, if the plan changes, change the plan, not the goal. That's right. So when he got, when I got called, I got called. That was only the devil being mad because he lost again. That's right. So for those breakers out there, that's what we're gonna call you. Those people on the brink, this one that you want to give up but you want to keep going. I ain't really got too much to tell you, but tell you to just go. Mm-hmm. It's that easy. It's just like picking up your phone and dialing. Just get yourself up and move. And if you didn't get the analogy with the phone, that means the way you get up to post your pettiness in on Facebook, just punch in with God and tell him I want to do this thing. Yeah. Once and for all. Now, I'm going to tell you, it ain't going to be easy. The tests are going to keep coming, but you'll be prepared. That's right. That's real. That's real, real. And you got this. Amen. And I'm out. God bless you. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Amen.